Okay, Freely, so tell us a bit about what you ate today. What well, did I eat today? I had... Everything you ate. Don't leave anything out. Okay, I had two litres of orange juice for breakfast. Yep. I had 15 bananas for lunch. Yep. And I had another 15 bananas for dinner. So about 30 bananas total. Yep. And two litres of orange juice. Two litres of orange juice. And what about water? Did you drink any water today? I drank three litres. And did you, when did you have the water? I had a litre when I first got up. So you had the, the, you drank a litre of water before you had your orange juice? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. Every morning on rising, as soon as I get up, I'm straight to the water. Why is that? Why is that? Because I love the way I feel when I'm hydrated. Yep. It's so important. You're an athlete, aren't you? I'm an athlete. Do you think hydration is important about having good energy levels and stuff? It's vital. And it helps, does it help your digestion? Yep, helps everything. Well, can you just turn the side for a minute? Just see your stomach. So this is, no, don't suck it in too much. Just, you know, that's it. Just relax it. It's a natural reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, you know, um, fruit makes you fat. <laughs> how come you're not fat? How come you're not bloated? Like all these. This is dinner, actually. So in the morning, I'm actually a lot flatter than this. Which. So what were you about eight thirty in the evening? Yeah, this is about eight thirty. So After this... fifteen bananas, people. Yeah, and <laughs> okay. So you've eaten and drunk, say five kilos of fluid and about. So you had about seven kilos of food and water today. Seven kilograms. If that's what it works out to. And that little yeah. stomach there. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and so what exercise did you do today? What exercise did I do? I didn't actually do anything. It was my rest day. So what did you do? Just sit on the couch and... Just sat around and soaked up the atmosphere. Yeah. Resting. On did, the you, did you want to exercise or... I had a feeling like I did, yeah. But I know how valuable like rest is. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's so important. I've got a regular training, like a routine at the moment. Um, training for a marathon in July. Yeah. And so I'm doing a lot of running, but I know how important it is to put those rest days in for rejuvenation and recovery. Okay. So. so you've been a vegan for how long? Been a vegan for over three years. Yeah, it's like coming up to three and a half years. What about like a, a fruit, fruit I'm vegan? Vegan. It's been like um, coming up for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. So. What do you say to the people that says fruit makes you fat? Well, I'm living proof that it's not making me fat, is it? You know? And I mean all I care for. I never restrict my calories. I always eat as much as I can. Yeah. And so I love it. You know, like I used to be this binge prone, starved, anorexic mentality, you know, just depressed person on the verge of suicide. Yep. You know, always going, oh my God, how many calories? Oh my God, I'm over a thousand. Oh no, I can't eat anything else today. So now you count your calories so you're getting enough. Yeah, I always count my calories now because it's, it's important to get enough. You know, it's yeah. not about restricting my calories anymore. It's all about getting enough in. So do you think you can eat too much fruit? Never. No, don't believe in it. So what about people who say, oh, I ate lots of fruit and I feel sick? Well, you can eat too fast on a dehydrated system. Too late at night. Okay. So it, it's not the fruit. The fruit always gets the blame, but it's how we treat the fruit and the the system that we bring the fruit into. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what about um. Yes, uh, what about I mean, people say you don't need to drink water because you're eating so much juicy fruit. Yeah, it's just it's it's not true. You know, like if you want optimal energy levels you need to drink water as well and you need to be piss peeing at least 10 times did you just day. about to say pissing i did it's your fault Bad pissing influence. <laughs> so sorry carry on so you need to be peeing sorry this is a politically yeah. correct term peeing at least 10 times clear per day okay and what and about if you're not you need to drink more water and what about night time should you get up and go to the toilet or you definitely should at least once but you know optimally more Twice. People say, oh, I don't interrupt my sleep. Yeah, well, you know, that's the price you pay for being hydrated and feeling super energetic all day and happy and clear skin. And so I guess it's more important to be hydrated than to than to not get out of bed exactly. and go have a wee. Exactly. I, guess I, I don't even notice, you know, I'm, I'm always in my sleep walking these days. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So... It's not an inconvenience for me. And okay. It's just, like I said, a small price to pay. Good, good. And you cycled your bike. I heard you cycled your bike across Australia. 
Yes, it, I did. That it, was June two thousand and eight. So that means that was in winter time. Yep. And did you did you do it one hundred percent raw vegan? One hundred percent. Yep. So, so powered by fruit and greens and a little bit of nuts and seeds. That's correct. Yep. And what about honey? Over three thousand k's too. What about honey? Do you eat honey? honey? No. Did you eat honey when you cycled across Australia? No. Did you eat a teaspoon of honey? No. Okay. Wow. That's, so you're living proof. I'm all vegan. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, then um, I think that's about it. You just your results speak for themselves, I guess. And you know, like I'm, I'm really happy to be a healthy, you know, thriving example of a, a low-fat, raw, vegan lifestyle. Yep. And to show all the girls out there that you're not going to get fat on fruit. Yeah. You're going to get the figure you desire. You're going to have the energy that you need to get through the day and to handle, you know, intense conversations if you need to. Yep. Get through your studies, your workouts, whatever it may be. And you don't need to restrict your calories. You must not when you do this lifestyle. Yeah. Just eat as much as you can. And it's hard for people to fathom that, you know, after years of starving themselves. Did it take you a while to fathom that? Yeah, like, it, it did take me a while. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm. It took okay. me a while to get used to it, but, you know. Now you're laughing. <laughs> so this, this, you'd have the best endurance of your life now, you think? Yeah, definitely. As an endurance athlete? I've just got this clean energy just, you know, coming in all the time. Yeah, you're pretty clean. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's smart out of it, So what are your dimensions? <laughs> no, I just kidding. Oh, what? So what's, what's in the plan tomorrow? What are you going to do? Of, on my training routine, I've got a coach online at the moment. Actually. Yep. Pat Carroll. Pat Carroll, he's yeah. a pretty good... PatCarroll.com, I think it is. He's one of Australia's fastest marathon runners, isn't he? Two hours and nine minutes. That's pretty quick. Very good. Yeah, good coach to have. Yep. Um, tomorrow I'm doing 50 minutes run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 50? 50 minutes, so yep. moderate pace. Yep. yep. Do you wear a heart rate monitor or...? Yes, I do. Why do you wear a heart rate monitor? I've got my Garmin. Hang on, I'll get it. Watch this space. There's lots of moths around here. Garmin. <laughs> the Garmin. Okay. So the Garmin 405 CX from Garmin.com. Love the Garmin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Garmin will have to pay you for some advertising. <laughs> so. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. What um. It helps me be objective with my workout. I say if you're going too hard or too easy, you, you yeah. can look at your watch and know. Okay. And I can also just like transfer it straight across to my computer. Yep. You know, without um, any hassle and keep a, a log of my um, workouts. Okay, okay. All right, cool. All right, that's, that's, that's all, all my questions, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, anything else you wanted to share with the viewers? Just eat as much fruit as you can. Fruit is your friend. Well, would you, well, okay. And, sl- and no fruit crimes. No frying fruit. No cooking fruits. <laughs> no eating Fresh, unripe fruit. Right, raw, organic preferably. Yeah, cool. Sweet fruit. So what about people who say, what about fat people who say, I'll get fat eating fruit? Oh, God. I guess they just have to look at you. That's the thing. You know, you've got to be a shining example. You know, and those people, um, they rarely say it to me, I must, I must say. I have had it in the past, but, yeah, no, it, it's not, it's a pretty rare thing for me to hear. Because it's just crazy, you know, like, yep. so I don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> Interesting. Be the example. Yeah. And did you lose weight on this path? Were you heavier, or Definitely. did you always look hot? <laughs> so how many how many kilos did you lose when you jumped into this path? Well, uh, or did, you, did your weight sort of fluctuate at the start? It and then fluctuated at the start. Yeah, why do you think and that then, was? Well, I think the reason is because I came from a background of under eating. You know, I was always restricting my calories all the time. Yep. And I was on stimulants, recreational drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, just basically stressing my body out in a lot of ways. So when it came to a fruit lifestyle, low fat raw vegan lifestyle, I think my body just sort of relaxed. You know, yeah. I started to eat really well, really good food, and my body relaxed and just sort of relaxed a little. Yeah. Bit, you know, and it yep. expanded mm-hmm. a bit. Yep. But that's natural. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going through some changes. It's a whole new shift. Yeah. You know, so fluctuated a little bit, but um, the total. Loss is about 28 pounds. Okay, from where yeah. you are now, okay, to where you started. That's yeah. pretty good. And you, you feel a lot better now? Yeah. You've only got 20 seconds left. Per no. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this if I, you know, for the last two and a half years. Yeah. If it didn't feel so good. Yeah. So. Okay, thanks a lot. I will, uh, Thank you. So your blog is sweetjuicyfreely.com? Sweetjuicyfreely.com. All right. Okay.